Well, we've been hearing a lot about research into COVID-19, but important work, very important work, is also being done when it comes to cancer research. The Innovation and Research Lead at the Canadian Cancer Society, Dr. Stuart Edmonds, joins us. Thanks very much for joining us. It's fascinating the work that's being done right now. Tell us about some of the projects that are going on right now that are being funded by the, the Daffodil Campaign. Well, well, well uh, we know that uh, if, if we can identify uh, those at risk of cancer or we can detect cancer early, the outcomes are so much better. So we teamed up with the Canadian Institutes of Health Research and Brain Canada to challenge researchers across the country to come up with their, their best ideas to how to prevent and, and detect cancer early. And they didn't disappoint. They uh, submitted ideas and we ended up funding 27 grants that spanned from looking at uh, the use of contact lenses to identify exposure to cancer-causing agents, to looking at toenails for lifetime risk of cancer, um, and, and or building in AI to understand uh, how we can better detect brain tumors. So really some tremendously exciting proposals that came forward that we funded, and we're really excited about what's going to come out of these. Wow, that is fascinating. I love the toenails one. So is it, is it like toenail clippings, and then you can determine the risk of cancer from that? Well, that's right. You can look at toenail clippings and see the exposure to radon, and um, radon is linked to cancer. So it's, yeah, a fantastic study, really exciting. Wow, this is a really exciting time when it comes to cancer research, isn't it? It, it is. It, we're, we're at a point now where we've, we've gained so much knowledge over the last 10, 20 years that, that really we're looking at, we're already putting new treatments into practice and saving more and more lives. And it's a really, really exciting and hopeful time. And this is, this is what links really closely to the daffodils. When, when the daffodils spring up in springtime, it's, it provides a sense of hope. And, it's, and these, these, uh, these, these projects particularly provide a lot of hope. Right. Now, most of the money from this, does it all come from the Daffodil Campaign or, or is it coming from businesses as well, from government grants? Where, where is the bulk of the money for cancer research coming from? Well, certainly from the Daffodil Campaign, but other, um, we're, we're grateful to donations from, from many, many different sources across the country. And, and we, with this particular program, we, t we did team up with two government agencies to, uh, to put this program on. So we're very excited to, to partner with organizations too to make sure that we do so we, we leverage our funds and, and fund more exciting grants. Right, because it's not just research into detecting cancer earlier, but there's also research in, in treatments. Well, that's right, well, because we know that, um, uh, you know, for these, for these particular grants, uh, we know that if we, could, if we can detect cancer early, we can actually treat cancer uh, more effectively. And so, so the, 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 the impact of these, these particular SPARC grants is, is immense. Right. And are you seeing kind of an uptick in the effect of like everybody is so now amazed at how, what research can do? We look at, you know, from when the pandemic started to now we're dealing with a multiple uh, amount of vaccines. It shows that research really works. Right. And how quickly it can happen. Well, well that, that's right. Research is uh, we, we, we've seen the impact of research over many, many decades. And, and, and I think the, the, the example we saw with that we've seen with the vaccine is is exciting and hopefully is a, is a, a bit of a, a, another new dawn for uh, all research in that it really demonstrates how research can get together and solve a problem uh, very effectively and, uh, and, and will prove to be very beneficial to the public and people affected by disease and cancer. Okay, thanks very much for chatting with us, Dr. Stuart Edmonds from the Canadian Cancer Society. Thank you, Annette.